Hello, today we have Mark Edwards with us and we're going to find out a little bit about algae. Mark, can you give us a very brief description of uh, what you've done? Well, thank you, thank you. This is the a wonderful world of algae and algae is the oldest, the smallest, and yet the fastest growing high protein plant on earth. And I've had the pleasure of studying algae for 40 years and I just uh, think it's a fabulous plant. We noticed there's a lot of different colors of algae. Can you reflect on that just a briefly? A great, great point, uh, Roger. The, uh, when we see a green algae, that means that the algae is reflecting all the colors other than green because that's what we're seeing. And the uh, red algae is reflecting all other colors than red. So we have every color in the rainbow in algae. We have over 75,000 species known and probably about 10 million species total. Now, where do you see, where's algae going? What is, you were saying I heard something about fuel and algae. I've studied algae for 40 years as a food source because algae has such a high protein and it grows so fast that it makes a great food or a food for animals. And yet, in the last five years, almost all the focus on algae has been as an oil and that could be a liquid transportation fuel, could replace gasoline, jet fuel, diesel fuel. Now, how about algae as helping ecologically? What has it done for our uh, whole ecological system? Well, remember that each ton of algae that we grow sequesters two tons of carbon dioxide, and it is, we can grow algae in a very positive ecological system because it doesn't pollute, it actually doesn't pollute the air, and even when you burn algae oil, which you get from squeezing algae, and you put it in the tank, let's say a diesel tank, it doesn't burn with black soot particulates because it's not fossilized. Algae is the same hydrocarbons as you would get in our gasoline and diesel fuel, but it hasn't gone through 400 million years of fossilization. And that's why it's clean, it burns as clean vegetable oil. And what is your vision for the future and how long will it take before we can actually use algae in this way? Uh, we grew algae this year and it's being uh, used in jet airplanes this year. We'll see larger production systems next year. In the next five years, we'll see uh, very, very large production systems for algae, for oil, and for liquid transportation fuels. And frankly, algae is our, our only practical hope for replacing liquid transportation fuels. And remember that 97% of our oil imports are liquid transportation fuels. So algae provide a critical uh, source for replacing imported oils. Besides oil, how could we use algae to get fresh water? Algae are a wonderful, we call that water remediation because we move uh, wastewater, uh, ocean water, or brine water, brine water is salty water, and we move that water through an algae pond and algae pull out all those uh, pollutants and they can clean up uh, municipal water and uh, then you're growing algae biomass and the water coming out the other end is clean water. It's, it's clean enough for irrigation, and with a little bit more uh, remediation, it's clean enough to be reused. Israel uh, remediates with algae ponds. 87% of their water in Israel is remediated with algae. Well, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure visiting with you today. Thank you.